what is popping guys and this is part four we're just going to get right into it again the blank appears in fraction form in the upper right corner of each check this is the aba number this can also um appear on the bottom left of the check the aba number in fact more commonly it appears on the bottom left but none of these other ones are correct when a bank covers a check written for an amount greater than the balance in an account they charge the customer and this is called an overdraft fee an overdraft fee because this means that you are exceeding the account's limit you're paying more than what you have in the account this is considered an overdraft you're going over the top kind of think of it like that assets minus liabilities we've gone over this right this is the net worth is assets minus liabilities one mile you just kind of have to have this stuff memorized 1609 meters but this also makes sense right if you run a 100 meter race before you would know that 100 meters is really not much and one mile like to run a mile is a lot longer than running 100 meters so these two options 150 and 500 don't really make sense you could mistake a thousand meters but thousand meters is a kilometer not a mile and you know that a kilometer and a mile are different things so you can also use the process of elimination to solve this question now 70 miles per hour equals well it's not 35 because miles is more than kilometers not 65 well if we know that one mile is 1609 miles that means one mile is equal to 1.609 um, km approximately approximately because it's 0.34 um so it's the only reasonable answer in this case is 112 right because 210 is almost three times as much as this so you don't even need to use a, a calculator you can just use basic mathematical inferences and you only get um usually you'll have 100 questions uh, and uh, 60 minutes so you don't even get a minute per question it's like what 36 seconds right please don't quote me on that i may have made a mistake with the math in my head but it sounds like uh 36 seconds i'm pretty sure um in your living room that measures 20 feet by 10 feet so you have a new carpet and the carpet costs 4.5 dollars sorry i'll zoom out per square foot how much will your living room carpet cost so you have 20 by 10 so that's 200 feet square 200 um, feet squared and you pay 4.5 dollars per square foot so that's 200 times 4 is 800 times that extra 0.5 is 937 is a a section of land is 560 acres you have inherited three seconds of land and charge a tenant 325 dollar per acre a year for rent how much does the tenant owe you? So you do 560 acres, right? You have 560 acres, $325 per acre. So times 325. And remember, three sections of land. So now it's times three. And that, sorry, this is a bit tricky in your head, but you will get a calculator for this test, so don't worry. But that should be $546,000. You can check that on a calculator. I'm pretty sure it is correct. Um, now, on to the next question. Which of the following is not an example of a rational number? So a rational number, just think of this as a number that cannot be expressed accurately on the number line. So all these numbers can be expressed precisely on the number line. But this number, square root of 2, it goes on like forever. So you cannot um, accurately express the square root of 2 on a number line. So it's this D, square root of 2. Now, last question is, the current U.S. dollar is worth 0 0.77952 euros. You are visiting France and purchased a shirt for 31 point. 1808 euros what is the dollar cost of the shirt so what you would do is 31.1808 over 0 0.77952 um personally i would just round so i just do 32 over 0 0.8 you want to save time so don't type out the full thing that is 40 dollars and 40 dollars is the closest option to that and it's probably um about correct so yep um, now, wait, I think we can do one more. You receive a trade discount of 15% for making a large order. Your order totals $1,350. How much will you pay? So if you have a trade discount, you're retaining 85% of the value. So that is 1,350 times 0 0.85. Now, all of these numbers are both of these. Well, not both of these, sorry. These two numbers are greater. So it's definitely not um, between these. It's definitely not either of these two. So you would actually have to do it on your calculator just because these two numbers are pretty close. So you would use your calculator for this times 0 0.85. So 1350 times 0 0.85 is 1147.5 this. Anyways, uh, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Hope you found this helpful and goodbye.